Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a case of twin pregnancy. The pregnancy measures about 16 weeks. Twin pregnancy with one blighted ovum and the other fetus with multiple fetal anomalies. You can see the fetal head and it shows marked dilatation of the fetal brain ventricles. These are the dilated ventricles. Ventomegaly is a condition in which ventricles appear larger than normal on a prenatal ultrasound. This can occur when cerebrospinal fluid becomes trapped in these spaces causing them to grow larger. Ventricles develop early in the pregnancy and can be seen on a prenatal ultrasound in the second trimester at about 15, 15th weeks. Enlargement of the ventricles may occur for a number of reasons such as loss of brain volume, perhaps due to infection or infarction, or impaired outflow or absorption of cerebrospinal fluid from the ventricles called hydrocephalus or normal pressure hydrocephalus associated with conspicuous brain sulcus. You can see the both the gestation sacs separating by a membrane that is called intertwin membrane and one gestation sac is empty with no fetal pole seen in its interior and the other having this fetus you are watching for the fetal anomalies in a normal fetal brain the ventricles are less than 10 millimeter wide when the ventricles are between 10 to 15 millimeter wide the baby is diagnosed with mild ventromegaly if the ventricles are more than 15 millimeter wide the enlargement is considered as severe you can see the placenta is posteriorly attached the lias transfers with end of the fetus lying on the left hand side of the mother if the child has mildly enlarged brain ventricles or ventromegaly without other complications the condition may resolve on its own when hydrocephalus is more severe to prog progresses timely treatment is important now you can see both the again the both the gestation sacs and this gestation sac has no fetus so it is a case of blighted ovum or an embryonic pregnancy the other gestation sac has a fetus with multiple fetal anomalies. Now you can see the placenta is posteriorly attached and this is the membrane that is called intertwin membrane and this membrane is separating both the gestation sacs. So the hydrocephalus is the abnormal enlargement of brain ventricles caused by buildup of cerebrospinal fluid. Hydrocephalus can be caused by problem with cerebrospinal fluid secretion, CSF flow or CSF absorption. After a complete evaluation, if the ventromegaly is mild to mild and is isolated, the outcome is most commonly normal. 
with isolated moderate ventromegaly of 13 to 15 mm after a complete evaluation the outcome is likely to be favorable but if there is increase uh, there is increased risk of neurodevelopmental disabilities now you can see the fetus abdomen and this abdominal cavity the fetal ab abdominal organs are without the fetal ab abdominal wall the wall is abdominal wall is missing an abdominal wall defect is an opening in the abdomen through which various abdominal organs can protrude this opening varies in size and can cause and can usually be diagnosed early in the fetal development typically between 10th and 14th weeks of pregnancy abdominal wall defects specifically the main two types are two types gastrocnemius and amphalocele these are rare occurring about one in every 5000 births now you can see both the lower limbs of the fetus they looks to be comeco normal diaphragmatic hernia is one of the other common major musculoskeletal malformations and it has a reported prevalence of 3 to 4 per 10000 live births it also carries a high mortality with the reported rate as high as 43% no genetic mutations are known to cause an abdominal wall defect multiple genetic and environmental factors like in 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 likely influence the development of these this disorder amphalocele and gastrocnemius are caused by different errors in fetal development amphalocele occurs during error in the digestive tract development again you can see the blood flow is seen in the fetus and fetal movements are also visible now you can see the fetal soft tissue edema on the fetal head so now you can see the feet and the placenta is posteriorly attached again you can see the intertwined membrane which separates the twins now you can see there is no fetal abdominal wall there are no fetal spines whole length of the spine looks to be missing again you can see the fetal head showing marked dilatation of the fetal brain ventricles this is placenta and this is the fetal head with dilated ventricles you can find some important information in the description of this video thanks for watching please subscribe my channel if you do like this video please click the like button thanks